103 years ago, the AE-1 submarine of the Australian World War I disappeared without a trace. Now it has been found, ending one of the most disconcerting and ancient naval mysteries of the nation. AE-1 disappeared while patrolling eastern New Britain on September 14, 1914, with 35 Australian, New Zealand and British crew members aboard. There were no calls for help or witnesses. It was the first defeat in wartime for the Royal Australian Navy and the first loss of Allied submarines in World War I, according to Defence. Over the years, there have been 13 searches for AE-1. One of them, in 2013, involved a Navy mine hunter and another in 2014 used a multi-beam sonar transported aboard a mining reconnaissance boat. The most recent and successful search, which began last week, used the Dutch inspection vessel Fugro Equator. Most were confined to an area east of Duke of York Island, in front of the New England capital, Rabaul. The final contact of AE-1 with the destroyer HMAS Parramatta at 2.30 p.m., more than a century ago, placed it in this area. The inhabitants of the island of Mayoko at that time spoke of seeing a monster or devil fish that appeared and disappeared quickly in the water. It was always assumed that AEI was not a victim of enemy action because only the nearby German ship at that time was a small reconnaissance ship. Because no remains, oil or bodies were found, it was also believed that the AE-1 had sunk intact, most likely after hitting a reef that punctured a hole in the pressure hull. Whether this is what happened or not has yet to be verified publicly. The main search depth was 400 meters down. The submarine was finally found in 300 meters of water. It seems to be well preserved and been one piece. AE-1 was one of the two Class E submarines built in Britain for the new Australian Navy. It was launched in May 1913 and commissioned in the Navy in February 1914. 